Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, and I wanted to take a second to talk about what spray tans and paint parties have in common, okay? So, if you're getting on here, would you tell me if you've had a spray tan? Because I recently, I have to document how dark I am right now with the spray tan, because it's going to take a few days to fade and I'm not loving it just to tell you the truth. Um, I feel like I went too dark and I wanted to talk to y'all about it. First off, I want to know if you've ever gotten a spray tan. So let me know in the comments if you have, I'm going to put this right here. Hopefully I won't lose you. And then second, I want to know how many of y'all have gotten a spray tan and then went too dark. Maybe you went a level you were thinking you were supposed to. Um, so here's why I'm sharing this, okay? So I, I have a big announcement. I'm gonna announce a big announcement at the end of this, but um, and you're gonna wanna hear it, so stay tuned. Um, but I also wanted to show you, <laughs> I had to show you what's happening with the spray tan, and also the conversation that me and Brendan, who I love so much, she um, she works on with us in Paint Party Headquarters and Texas Art and Soul. Okay, so some of y'all have, some of y'all haven't, okay? Well, here's what happened. So I was doing a Facebook Live in Paint Party Headquarters, is where I have like 900 members and I teach them how to make money teaching paint parties, right? And we go over different things. Well, I was sharing some stuff with them and then... <laughs> I was asking Brendan, who is amazing, who works full time for me, I was asking her, which email do, do these members need to email if they're having trouble? <laughs> if, if they're having trouble finding, I'm so sorry, I'm cracking myself up because I'm about to show you this picture and you're going to die. I asked them which email would they need to email because we got this brand new app and this brand new website for our paint party headquarter members and it's beautiful. And so one of the ladies couldn't get on and I said, well, let me ask Brendan real quick online. So I'm texting, you know, I'm messaging Brendan and then she texts back first off, Heidi, the email you sent isn't even an email we have. So number one, thank you, Brendan, for keeping me on track because I was saying an email that we don't even have. And then number two, she put, girl, you are dark. And so she sends this. Let me just show y'all. This is our, our thread as I'm trying to do the Facebook Live. My face is like, here, I don't even know what emails I have for Paint Party Headquarters. And then the picture of, girl, you're dark. And so I am just dying laughing. So the reason I wanted to first off get on here is ask if y'all have ever had a spray tan because I think I need to go shade lighter next time. And number two, compare, we cannot compare ourselves. So paint parties, what does spray tans and paint parties have to do to get, let me get to the point here, is you cannot compare yourself to other people. Just like I can't compare other people and my spray tan that is hopefully gonna fade in a few days, <laughs> a little bit lighter, but you cannot compare other people's success to your paint party business, okay? So let me get serious for just a second and then I'm gonna share the big announcement I have coming. So um, a lot of people, we sit here and we scroll through Facebook, we scroll through Instagram, we find people with weird tans, whatever it may be, and then we always compare ourselves to other people. Um, we have a lot of that happening just in general, but especially when you're trying to start a business. So if you're a person who is brand new to teaching paint parties, let me know in the comments. If you've been doing it a while, let me know that too in the comments. And um, Cookie says, I've never had a spray tan. Well, Cookie, this was my first experience. And I can tell you from my only experience is that I will definitely do it again for sure because I love the way it looks on my body and my husband loves the way it looks on my body. So I will definitely do it again for sure. But I will definitely go a shade lighter for sure because, or I, I just had to document how dark I was because I feel like I went to the Bahamas for a couple of um, months, you know, a couple months and I'm liking it. So I just wanted to share that with you. But the thing is, is about, um, not spray tans. <laughs> Let me get back on the subject about paint parties is you have to make sure you're not comparing yourself to other people. So like I've said time and time again, you know, I have competitors in my town. If I spent my time Googling what they're doing every second or watching what they're doing every second, I would never have a paint party again because I would just, I would fill my brain with all of this stuff that is freaking me out. And so the reason I wanted to share that is because 
We so many times sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll and think everybody's doing it okay. Everybody's got it going on. Everything is perfect. Well, I'm going to tell you that is a lie because nobody is out there teaching paint parties and it's all just fun and games always. There's always, anytime you're running a business, there's ups and downs. It's just, you can be, you know, 50 people and think you're the best person in the world and you're doing great and this is awesome and I made, you know, enough to pay my, all my bills this whole month. And then the next month, a paint party cancel and you're like, wah, wah, who am I? You know, what's that about? Like sometimes we feel like we're only as good as our last paint party. Well, that is BS and it's not true because I have been doing this for almost 13 years. I was, I was talking to paint party headquarters earlier and I was like, man, Pixie was one. So she's 13 now when I had my very first one. And so almost 13 years. And so if you want to do this more than three months, if you're a person who wants to teach paint parties more than three months, there will be an up and down to it. There'll be times when you're like, oh my gosh, this is going great. And there's going to be times when you're like, dang it, why can't anything happen? So I want to just encourage you to not compare yourself to anybody else's spray tan. I mean, paint parties and spray tan. <laughs> Don't compare yourself to anybody's spray tan or paint parties. And then I'm also going to have a um, big announcement right now. Let me see if there's any comments I need to read about spray tans because I am looking for tips because I heard that I may get spots later and I'm like, what can I do to prevent that? Um, yes, I'm in Texas. Oh, we have the same shirt. Debbie, we're twins. Yay. Um, okay, Mississippi, awesome. Oh, Jenna's on here. Hey, Jenna, I miss you. Um, Shauna said, I just told my husband tonight my legs are so ghostly white and I need some sun. Well, definitely do the spray tan. Just go a shade or two lighter than you think you should. And don't do, I would not do the Venetian. So apparently there's, okay, so what I have learned, if anybody's interested before I say the announcement, what I have learned in my two full days of having a spray tan, literally, that's the only experience I have. So what I have learned is, first off, I love it, and my husband loves it. Secondly, I would have gone a shade lighter. And third, apparently there's like a, a light, a medium, and a dark, but it's clear. And then there's like, which means it like develops over time. So what happened was I got the one that develops over time. So I get, you know, I, I pick up Pixie from school and she's like, oh, you got it, you got it, you did something. Like she noticed, right? And then by dinner, you know, like when they came home from the tumbling set from their whatever, she was like, oh my gosh, mom, what has happened to your face? Like it just kept getting darker and darker. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It just keeps getting darker. And so I would definitely go a lighter. And then if you get the Venetian, which again, I don't know in your area how it works, but the Venetian apparently like immediately immediately does something. So what I would do is like not get the Venetian because, and then there was this barrier cream. So I just want to just educate y'all a little bit on the barrier cream and then I'll tell you the big announcement. So apparently like, you know, I show my hands a lot on video. And so I was freaking out because if you don't use this barrier cream, you're going to have like this weird stuff all over your hands, like the dye. And so I was so scared that I was going to like not have it. So I did three layers of barrier cream and I still got a tan on my hands. So make sure you do lots of layers of barrier cream. And um, Emily says, Heidi, why do you have to preach so hard? She's laughing. Truly been struggling with the comparison game. Needed to hear this. Yeah, don't compare yourself. And literally guys, like don't don't even look at your competition. <laughs> I mean, I just like blinders on and go for it. You know, blinders on and go for it. Stay, you know, just do your own thing. Um, no, this is a Junk Gypsy hat, one of my favorite companies. I love Junk Gypsy. Um, Elizabeth's late to the party, but she's here. Well, you might want to rewind if you want to hear the story about the spray tan. Um, yeah, and, and Brendan, my trusty sidekick here, this is what, this is how, this is how we entertain each other. We, you know, through the day, we got to entertain each other. And okay, Lisa says, never do the spray tan, but the comparison thing was legit. Yes, definitely don't compare yourself. And um, Dawn, go level one, like the first level. She says, I'm just so scared I'm pale. I'm, I was really pale. So yeah, I would not go past the level one. 
Um, Jerry says, I've been doing that scrolling and looking and not doing a thing. I'm not good at marketing myself. Need to get to the units. Now, you have a nice color right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Um, okay, so what I recommend, Jerry, definitely get to the units. Um, she's in Paint Party Headquarters, which is, we don't have the doors open now, but it's my monthly membership where people learn all about like marketing and how to do paint parties consistently. Because here's the thing, like when I first started doing this, Oh my gosh, I wish there would have been somebody out there teaching me, showing me like quicker ways, you know, saying it's going to be okay. Like this is going to be okay. This is really what happens. This is how it works. And I wish there would have been somebody out there like that. And so we'll open the doors again and on Mother's Day. Um, but in the meantime, so Jerry, since you're in Paint Party Headquarters, definitely um, watch for the video that I'm going to talk about this coming month. It's called Pre-Marketing, and it tells a lot of really great stuff that's going to help you. But yeah, don't just, guys, whether you're in Paint Party Headquarters or you're just thinking about teaching paint parties, don't compare yourself to other people. You don't know how long they've been doing something in the background. You don't know how long they've been working on something. Like, you just don't know. Um Let's see. Um, Julie says, Heidi, LOL. It definitely darkens from this AM, but still looks good. I know. It just keeps getting darker. I know. I was doing videos earlier. Um, oh my gosh. You know, I know. I'm ready. I'm ready for some sun. Um, okay. So let me go ahead, make sure there's nothing else. And then I'm going to give y'all the announcement. Um, let's see. Dawn says, I have a friend that already does parties, but I want to start. Is that not cool? Don, I don't, okay, so I teach how to do a profit every party anywhere. So as long as you're like, don't go to her place where she's already doing it. But if you're, you know, going an hour away to another town, um, I don't think it's an issue. Like, I mean, I have friends that started paint parties after I've started. And I honestly, guys, here's the deal. You don't need to teach every freaking paint party to make money. You don't need them all. Like literally, like if I can't do a party, I refer them to people that are in my area that are in Paint Party Headquarters. Um, because you don't need them all. You just need a few paint parties a month to make some good income. You only need a couple a month. And so I don't, I'm not that person that's like, oh my gosh, there's competition here. I mean, I know of two brick and mortars here, plus at least five other people, and that's only the five people I know, but I promise you, I don't look at any of their stuff because I don't I don't play that way. I don't want to compare. I don't want to sit there and compare because it can literally give you a mental breakdown if you sit there and compare yourself to everyone else, but I just seriously like just do my own thing, and then also I'm not bound by 10 minutes. I don't mind driving an hour and a half if I need to, to do a paint party. Listen to a podcast, you know, listen to some goofy girl talk about a spray tan that she's not sure about yet, you know, something like that. And then, you know, go on your way, but you can't compare yourself to other people. Um, let's see. Katie says, I'm launching a product right now. And somebody replied to an email and said, yeah, but did you know so-and-so is doing this too? And you put, I did, you in parentheses said, I did. But people buy from people they know, like, and trust. Yeah, that's so true. So, so many people, like, get so scared. And even paint parties. Like, sometimes people just want variety. They want to go to a different paint party instructor. Or they, you know, want to, like, we go to Whataburger. But we also go to Grumps, which is a really good hamburger place. Um, you know, there's all different kinds of places that, you know, will still, like, people like hamburgers and will still go have hamburgers. So don't, oh, sorry, I dropped you. I just don't want to keep shaking it when I hold it. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Susan says, I just ordered eight blank door hangers. Going to start doing some of those. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Julie's been thinking about paint parties but lives in a small rural town. That is okay. Some of my biggest parties have been in small, small towns. Um, okay, we have lots of paint party paint party sisters here on oh brendan's on brendan i just showed your picture you sent me thanks <laughs> for those y'all that missed it here's me and brendan's conversation with my goofy face and how i went too dark <laughs> i love that girl and um, when is pre-marketing teaching jerry that is coming the second week of march and um, let's see Elizabeth says, my husband threw me into the deep end of the pool. I was getting my boards ready and was going to make flyers. Sunday, he came in and grabbed my spring bunny and took it to the ladies at the church next door. I now have 12 people signed up and more on the way. Now I'm panicked. 
Don't panic. That is awesome. That is a great problem to have, Elizabeth. And if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, post it. You should because you're doing the bunny. And um, Post and we'll help you with the next step. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah. It's okay if you have painting with a twist in your town. I'm mean, seriously like I'm, I'm going to Florida again to teach a paint party. So it's not like, I mean, I'm not saying be crazy and go four states away, but I, you know, I go there cause I have a, a friend and you know, we've been doing paint parties there for a few years now, I think five years. And it's just, you know, you don't have to be bound by 10 minutes. Okay. So last question. And then what if your biz does not agree to help market the event? Will they let you have their event there? Should you still try it? If the business isn't helping market it, you may need to reach out to different places like country clubs or, um, you know, women's groups, stuff. Anybody just put a yes or a heart if you're familiar with Paint Party Business Live. If you went to our very first ever Paint Party Business Live last year at Billy Bob's in the stockyards in Texas, put a big yes. Put a big Texas yes. Y'all, yes, whatever. Um, let's see. I have a, Alicia says I have a paint party at a church. Is it too much to re request assist with cleanup afterwards? Um, Alicia, if you're charging, I would hire help because the nicer, like easier you can make it on people, the better that people want to hire you back. So make sure you make it where like you come in, you set up, you clean up, you make it awesome. That way they want you to come back. If you put a bunch of people to work, they're going to be like, yeah, that was fun. But man, that was a lot of work. Um, so definitely. Okay. So we have some yes, some no. Okay. Paint Party Business Live, we are doing our second year, and I cannot tell you where it's at until Monday. So what's going to happen on Monday is I we only have 120 tickets. I am going to give Paint Party Headquarters members first dibs at the tickets because they're in Paint Party Headquarters, and so they will have a two-hour head start. So what that means is that on Monday, I am going to be announcing the location of Paint Party Business Live from the location of the next Paint Party Business Live. And it is not in Fort Worth this year. It's not at Billy Bob's. We're not doing the same location. First off, I love to travel and I love like fun locations. So my goal with Paint Party Business Live is to make it like fun as well as educational. And again, for those of you that are not sure what Paint Party Business Live is, it's a two and a half day event where I teach you all about running a paint party business. Everything, the ins and outs. This year, we're actually going to have an evening where I talk about... um like beyond paint parties, I'm going to be teaching you some of the online stuff. So if you're like thinking, maybe I need to, you know, do paint parties in person, but I also want to, you know, start thinking about what could happen if I do something online, like I'm doing right now, right? So, um, so that's going to be added this year. Some more, um, marketing stuff as well. We're going to beef up the trainings and it's just going to be really awesome. Last year, if you came, and um, let me know in the comments if you liked it because we had a blast. It was so, so much fun. So the dates are going to be in October, but I am announcing the location. And if you know it, only a couple people know it. And I think my mom's on here. Do not, do not ruin the surprise. So here's what will happen. On Monday, I'm going to announce it in Paint Party Headquarters first. Now, we have almost 900 members. We have 120 tickets, and I'm not saying like, oh, we have 120, and then I'm going to release more tickets. No, we literally only have room for 120 people in this room where I have booked which I can't tell you. I'm so scared I'm going to say it. Then I'm going to give them a two hour head start. So if they buy all the tickets, that's awesome. I'll feel like Taylor Swift and like sell out. That'd be amazing. And I'd be so happy. But if it does not all get sold, then I am going to release it to the public, to Texas Art and Soul, to my 30 something thousand people on my email list, to my, you know, 70,000 people on Facebook Live. I'm going to release it to everybody then. Then what'll happen is, uh-oh, my computer. What'll happen is once those tickets are sold, you cannot get a refund because this event cost me a lot of money, like a lot of money, like twenty to $30,000, a lot of money. So this event, like I don't make a lot... 
I teach a profit every party, but I don't make a big profit from this. It's more about getting everybody together, learning from each other, you know, collaborating, all of those great things, building friendships, all of that. So yes, I do make a profit, but I don't make a lot of profit. I could do four paint parties, four big paint parties and make way more money and way less, way less work. However, this is awesome. Paint Party Business Live is amazing. So I'm gonna have 120 tickets. I will announce on Monday and there is a payment plan, so just a heads up. Um, I'll announce the location at the location on Monday. So be ready. I'm going to give Paint Party Headquarters a two-hour head start. So um, I've been telling them that it's coming. And then once that two hours, then I'll go live on Texas Art and Soul. Just know if you purchase the tickets um, that there isn't a refund, okay? And then you'll know the location on Monday. We do have a winner. Somebody guessed in Texas Art and Soul. So we do have a winner. I'm gonna be mailing her a prize because she guessed, but she guessed through, she messaged me. And so I was like, okay, you got it, but don't tell anybody. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know the big surprise and also share a little bit about the crazy spray tan incident. So anyway, and on Monday, um, Lisa, we're probably going, I'm probably going to be showing you on Monday. It'll probably be in the afternoon. So just watch for an email, a Facebook live, and I'm going to share, um, as soon as, as soon as I can on Monday. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great night. And again, stop comparing yourself to other people.